Hello there guys and girls, this is Pixel and today I have what I think is my biggest crate opening of 2020 and I'm going to be opening every single crate gift pack in my inventory. We've got 16 golden eggs, 2 old golden gifts, 13 new golden gifts, 48 golden lanterns and 84 new golden pumpkins. Now, I, I'm obviously quite quite familiar with the golden pumpkin in the contents of that, but I kind of forget what's in these ones, so we might get surprised, and with how many crates? 163 crates. We're going to get a black market today. I don't normally make such a claim. We have to get one. Painted exotics, we have to get some, so we're, we're probably going to get something cool today. As well as that, I went to my Instagram page, which is at PickaPixelYT. You can go and follow me there, asking you guys to drop me a question that you wanted me to answer in this crate opening video today. So because it's going to take a little while to open open these crates. While I do, I'm just going to scroll through every single question and answer it. Maybe quick fire some of them, maybe a little bit longer some of them, depending. Now, before we get into that and opening the crates, of course, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, Logger.com. And I actually want to give a shout out to one of you again, because why not while I'm here? I'm on my phone. I got a tweet from... Twitch TV God Sec on Twitter saying just use your code for some credits on Logger. Thanks, man. So if you want to get a shout out like him, maybe, or if you want to go buy yourself some credits or some drop items or something like that for a cheaper price using my discount code Pixel at checkout, then be sure to check out the sponsors of the channel, Logger.com. So I'm going to play the sponsored intro, then we're going to get in, open all of these crates, get something sick. That's going to be my pick a pixel guarantee, and I'm going to answer your burning questions. This video is brought to you and made possible by Logger.com. So if you want to check them out, be sure to use the link in the description and use discount code pixel for 6% off your purchase. You can check out their gift cards, their credits, anything you like to look up on their site, you can go over there. And as I said, use the discount code to save yourself some money. Massive thank you to Logger for sponsoring the video, and let's get on with it. I'm going to go from left to right. We'll end on the golden pumpkins. Let's start with the golden eggs and let's get answering the question. So here we go. How do I start up my YouTube? Well, I mean, you just start by uploading videos. For some reason, one sec. This is, this is ridiculously loud. I'm going to turn it down. Right. So yeah, how do you start by... So yeah, how do you start up your YouTube? Simply just start whatever you whatever videos you want to make if you want to make you know Well, basically whatever you enjoy whatever videos you enjoy watching I would say that's a good place to start if you want to be a Rocket League channel Then just start uploading Rocket League videos. That's what I did back in 2016 If you're especially if your goal isn't to grow and you just want to make YouTube videos initially Just start because back in 2016 I was a Minecraft channel I uploaded Minecraft every single day then I uploaded all sorts of different games Then I took a break from YouTube and just came back with Rocket League a couple of times a week because it's something I enjoyed because I was watching John Sandman and I know there's a couple of questions in here saying who did who inspired you to do YouTube well there are many different inspirations that inspired me to do YouTube from the very beginning you know nearly 10 years ago but as far as Rocket League went I started uploading Rocket League for fun because I enjoyed it and that was primarily down to the videos that John Sandman used to make so uh, yeah that's how you start YouTube just just do it uh, someone asked, is crates, or I suppose they mean are crates, back in Rocket League? Crates have never left. I, I suppose some people, they look at my th that my story saying I'm going to open crates. They're like, hang on a minute. How, how have you done that? Crates have never left the game in the golden crate gift pack sense. We've got a painted hex face. Not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, what football team do you support? I support Arsenal. I've supported Arsenal actually since the Invincibles era. Uh, since then, I just Thierry Henry, big favourite of mine. And I remember crying when Arsenal lost the Champions League final against Barcelona uh, because we took the lead. I believe it was Sol Campbell, if my memory serves me correctly. But I did watch. I remember I rewatched it recently actually, and I didn't realise how much of an error Almunier made in goal. And I was just like, why are you like this? Because there's no way we're going to win a Champions League anytime soon with how good other teams are. We're not even getting into the Champions League. Why is this even a discussion? But yeah, uh, Arsenal FC. Let's hope you get lucky. Taylor Shaw, their profile picture is Derby FC's logo. So there we go. Uh, and that, that that reminds me, a lot of you guys that watch my videos are also interested in football. If you don't know, linked in the description is my football channel, The Full 90, and that is making a return. With the return of the Premier League, I'll be doing videos over on The Full 90 again, uh, starting in a couple of weeks. Uh, so that's exciting. I think 22nd week, beginning 22nd of June, that week, uh, I'm going to be starting videos on there, and we'll be trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on there before the end of the year. Will you ever play on PS4 again? Well, here's the thing. At the time of recording, they're announcing the release slash doing the showcase of the PS5. So perhaps, maybe, I'll, I mean, I'll probably get a PS5 and then depending on what it has to offer, maybe if you can get Rocket League on PS5, I don't know. 
uh, Rocket League hasn't really been around since the release of a new console, uh, I don't think. So it's very, very exciting. And, and PS5, that's a big thing. That's got to come with some kind of crazy exclusives, some kind of crazy new games. So um, maybe I'll play on PS5. You never know. What was your favorite crate to open? Um, it. Uh, oh, Crimson Cyclone. Not bad. Uh, in fairness, actually, it was probably the first Golden Pumpkins. You can't argue with 50% painted chance and Dracos and Zombas in the same crate. Matt Cook asks, how often do you plan to live stream when you get everything sorted? Another painted vehicle. There we go. Golden Gifts sorting us out. So as you guys know, for, for somehow uh, at my parents' house, which is where I currently am, not for much longer, uh, I will actually go into that another painted item because someone else asked about it. Um... The internet's got a little bit better here, so I have been streaming on Twitch, and I recently met the requirements for affiliate, which means I can now get, you know, subscribers on Twitch and everything like that, which is pretty cool, but I haven't yet set up my stream, I haven't... Yo! That's sick! That's gotta be... That's quite rare, that has to be decent. It's white as well, uh, but basically, yeah, um, I am gonna be... I've been streaming on Twitch, and it's been really, really sick, I've been doing games and stuff. But, in regards to the house moving situation, on the 15th of June, I'm going to be moving a bunch, of, like, a bunch of my living stuff, like my bed and all that, into my new house. Then on the 18th of June, the internet's getting upgraded from standard to Fiber 1, which still isn't quite good enough to stream. And then within a couple of weeks after that, it'll be upgraded from Fiber 1 to Fiber 2. So by July, I'll be moved into my new house with internet. There's another Lime item. And I'll then be starting to stream. And, and at that point... Maybe I could shoot for five streams a week. I'm not entirely sure. I, I've never streamed at, with a schedule. Like, even when I streamed basically every day back in the day, about three, three and a half years ago, it was always spur of the moment. And so I don't know in regards to uh, a stream schedule. So who did you look up to when you were younger? Everyone. I was very short. No, I'm joking. Um, when I was younger, that's a very good question. Uh, I... I don't really know. I never had, like, celebrity idols or or anything like that. I mean, in all honesty, my answer would probably be SpongeBob. I'm not going to lie. Um, what are your future ambitions for life? Uh, so, the ambition, I suppose, uh, be comfortable with my living. Uh, I like to think one day, maybe when I'm retired, I'll be a millionaire. Uh, that's, that's, I guess that's, that's a financial goal of mine. And it's not... It's not impossible at all uh, to be a millionaire by the time you're retired. I think you watching this could easily, if you play your cards right, become a millionaire uh, by the time you're 65. Uh, and I, I expect to do so. If I play if I play my cards right, there'll be that. And that will then lead to a comfortable lifestyle. You know, I don't need to be, like, filthy rich, like, billions and everything like that. But just to not have to, just to not have my life worsened by worrying about finances, you know. It's something you look at, something you keep an eye on. But something I never have to li literally worry about. So I can then provide a good life for my children to be. Because that is my number one dream is to be a dad. Because I am going to be the best dad. Just because it's something I've always wanted to do. It's something that really... It it's it's like my goal. And I, I think there might be a slight biological urge. You know, us as humans to procreate and, and have children. That's like the reason we're here. Uh, it all, get all gets a bit deep. But I'm very much on board with that. Uh, what's the most amount of titanium white octanes you've had at one time? In an inventory, uh, I did at one point have five uh, because I jokingly posted, I think, a picture on Twitter of me just about to trade up all five white octanes. Um, at which point, you know, even if I got Black Striker Dices, I'm pretty sure I'm not making profit on that. So it's literally just, even in the best case scenario, throwing money to the wind. Uh, but yeah, I've never, never, never had more than five or six, I would say. Someone asked multiple times, how tall are you? Uh, a few people asked this, actually. I'm um, five. I say five foot eleven, but I might be. Oh! Oh! Atomizer. Okay. First black market. I said we were getting a black market. Still no exotics. I've been so invested in the questions. I haven't really been seeing what we're getting. There's our first black market. Not the craziest, but still decent. Uh, but I had quite a few people ask me how tall I am. I'm five foot ten at least, but I've always said five foot eleven. Uh, maybe that's like five foot eleven with shoes on or something like that. You know, it's five ten to five eleven, so just above average, but not quite the six foot gang, which is kind of frustrating. You know what I mean? Um, okay, let's see. How tall are you? How tall are you? Yeah, favorite dinosaur. Ooh, good question. I think I used to know the answer to this one. Triceratops. I want to say. 
Interesting question. I like it. Have you ever had any setbacks? And if so, how did you overcome them? Ooh. Oh, Centros are sick as well. Imagine they were white. I mean, they look really clean. Grey Centros, I'll take that. Um, I, like many people, have had setbacks. I don't think anyone's not had a setback. Uh, how did you overcome them? Uh, some setbacks, uh, they require perhaps a change of perspective, coming at it at a different angle. If you, if you face a problem, you think, right, how can I tackle this in a way, in a different way to achieve my goal? Some, some setbacks do just require time, uh, whether that's, you know, healing required or time so that you have more clarity. They look very clean. Um, so I think try and think about how maybe you can overcome a problem in a different way. Learn. I think, I think empathy is huge. Trying to sort of put yourself in other people's shoes, so to speak. And, um, yeah, I, I think just just keep working at it. Just don't give up, basically. That's like that's the, the mantra, I guess you could say. What has been your most favorite video to make? Oh, I tell you what, I really loved making the Fitbit challenge video, the 100,000 steps challenge, just because I love vlog content, and that's about as close to a vlog as I've made in a long time, and it was actually a vlog with substance because there was a goal in it that I set out to achieve, and the whole journey of the video went from, you know, the start to the end, I achieved the goal, and obviously I'm a, I'm a Rocket League channel, so you know, just under 10,000 people saw that video, but that was probably one of my favourite ones to make, I have to say. Uh, what's your opinion on big price drops like Titanium White Zombies? I mean, it makes sense. Uh, the demand has gone way down, the supply has continued to rise, so it just, it is, it is what it is. Why are you the most amazing friend ever? That's very kind, very sweet of you to say. Um... I would say I'm well. I'm not <laughs> for one. Let me just put that out there. We've got an exotic. Oh, oh, we got the some gritty, clean little. We we got painted exotics. We got black markets. I'm telling you, it's happening. But I do strive to be the the best friend I can be, uh, which isn't the best friend. Some people just are better than me. There's always someone better than you at something. Uh, but I think. Yeah, I, I just try and be as good as I can. Um, and also, I don't spread myself too thin. I don't have a massive circle of friends. Uh, some people can cope with that very, very well. But I, I like most people, can't, I suppose you could say. Uh, what time is it where you live? It's 5.05 here in Indiana. That was about 45 minutes ago. So I'm about five hours ahead. It's quarter to 11 in the morning. What computer and mic do you use? This computer is another exotic. Oh, oh, striker. Okay. Uh, it's custom built. I can't even remember what's in it. This is a Shaw SM7B mic. Um, and that it's, it's, it's pretty dang good. I could definitely be better with my audio. Definitely edit it a little bit more to perhaps make it sound better. But yeah. What's your favorite part about YouTube? Love you, man. It is. It, it does have to be the comments, I think, or the interactions and it's, it's weird that people actually want to watch my videos. Let's say 10,000 people watch all, like every one of my videos. It, it, it's crazy. If you filled a, an arena with 10,000 people and they all wanted to watch me or hear what I had to say, when you put it into perspective like that, it's absolutely, it's absolutely unreal. What's your favorite game to play? It depends what mood I'm in. Rocket League... It's between Rocket League and Fortnite. Those are the only two games I actively play most days. Fortnite only so much so in the last month. I would say I've been getting back into it. And I do really like it. I'm not... Oh. Oh! Wait! I don't think I've ever had that black market before. I don't think I've ever got a streamline in my life. I, I haven't. I don't think I have. Oh, my goodness. I've never had that. I might have... I don't even know if I've ever had that in my inventory. I might have... I don't know. Oh, I got an incoming call. Hello? Hello, right there. Is that Mr. Barrett? Yes. It's also really awkward when people ask on the phone for Mr. Barrett because for my whole childhood, that means my dad. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, he's, he's here. I'll go get him. But now people call me Mr. Barrett on the phone. And it's a bit awkward because I'm like... Do you want to talk to my dad? <laughs> and I'm 22. Like, it's so strange. Uh, but yeah, that was a, a call I didn't really need to answer. That's for sure. But yeah, I'm really enjoying Fortnite right now, uh, in all honesty. Someone just asked, have you ever played any of the Call of Duty games? The Call of Duty I played the most was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, a lot of my friends and a lot of people my age and older, the, the best Call of Duties were like Modern Warfare 2, uh, Black Ops 1. And those games were just before I was sort of like allowed to kind of play those games. And I played the bulk of my Modern Warfare 3 
at my friend's house. I never had, one, a console that supported those games. I never had an Xbox 360 uh, or, a, or a PS3 until very, very late on in the game. Uh, I got a PS3, I think, maybe 2015, 2014. And obviously, the Modern Warfare 2 days in that, that was like 2010, 2011, and stuff like that. So, I never played those games, but I really, I was, uh, I would say addicted to Modern Warfare 3, every day after school, I'd go around my friend's house and we'd play it for hours. It was it was amazing. And recently, I haven't played many of the, the recent Call of Duties, to be honest. But Modern Warfare 3, I'll always, I'll always love that game. How long have you been doing YouTube for? Nine and a half years. As a full-time job, three over three years now, since February 2017. I need to scroll back down uh, to where I was at in the questions. Oh, one of them. When did you decide to do YouTube full-time? February 2017. And the next question, it says, not about Rocket League, but what's your workout routine? I can't really answer that in this question. Uh, to be honest, I used to, because I enjoyed going to the gym so much, I, I used to kind of, I wouldn't train to failure that often. I train quite hard, but not ridiculously hard. So that way it actually allowed me to go every day and do sort of mostly full body stuff every day. I kind of was going for a more lean, ripped physique and i almost got there uh as you'll see on my instagram um but I, I i think when i go back to the gym when they open i'm gonna lean up a little bit more again and then and then shift my focus to strength uh and training really really hard that's the that's the goal but you know a lot of running everything like that what's your real name if you don't mind answering uh it is matt barrett and here we go 84 golden pumpkins this is this is gonna be a long video uh, maybe I'll cut some out when I get through the questions. I don't know, but here we go. Uh, do you love Rocket League more than life? No, 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 I don't. <laughs> uh, how have you been affected from COVID-19? Interesting question. Obviously, like a lot of people, uh, my, the main way I've been affected, in all honesty, compared to my lifestyle, is not being able to go to the gym because I got so into the gym that I, I actually went without a day off for the entire month of March up until lockdown and the end of February after I came back from my few days rest after the 100,000 steps challenge that I mentioned earlier on in this video. So I was going to the gym every day and now I haven't been to the gym for nearly three months. I've done a lot of running, uh, but it's just not the same and I really, really miss the gym. So yeah, there's that. I'm poor, started training a few days ago. Can I have some help items? No. <laughs> I... <laughs> It, some people might say I'm harsh for saying that. One, I don't have enough items to give everyone, uh, you know, free items that has ever asked me. But two, I didn't get free items at the start of my Rocket League trading career. You've you got to build it up. You, you get out what you put in. And I've put in a ton. Uh, and then this question from Harry says, how... M oh, that is a sick trail. I like that. It says, how much money have you spent on Rocket League? And Swampy also asked the same question. I... Uh, it's too much. It's far too. It's not too much. It's all been worth it, but it is. It is most definitely a lot. Hattrick Halliday says, "Can you try and get at least three black markets? We've got two. One of which I've never had before. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I don't remember. I think that was one of the ones that has escaped me. So we need one black market in these 75 golden pumpkins uh, to make that come true. Okay, how's everything going?" Appreciate you asking. I just remembered I was answering the, the COVID-19 question. Uh, so, yeah, not going to the gym. Um, actually, I suppose that's, that's pretty much the whole lot. That's the main thing that's really been, you know, affected in my life is just not going to the gym. I suppose not being able to see people. That is another big thing. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. What has been your biggest achievement on YouTube? Uh, I, definitely the early 2017 year where I quit my job in February 2017 and have been doing YouTube full time you know, since then. And I suppose also as well as that, it's not like I quit my job to try and make YouTube work and it's not going that well and I'm just scraping by. Like, I'm not loaded, but I have I I haven't really had to worry, you know, about finances or, or anything like that or haven't had to seriously think about getting another job for the last three years. And the fact that I've been able to do that for three years is crazy to me. Uh, so that's probably my biggest achievement closely coinciding with 100,000 subscribers that I reached a month after uh, I quit my job, which was absolutely insane. Have you ever been to Belgium? P.S. Love from Belgium. I haven't, but I would love to travel more. I don't know about you, but when this, when this, when it's safe to travel, I want to 
to go traveling. I don't know if I'll go to Belgium, but I definitely want to go somewhere. Definitely want to go somewhere. Now, let's refresh the questions because I've, I've skipped a few, but uh, there's some new ones coming in. Uh, oh, literally now, where will you travel to after the pandemic? I would want to go back to Tenerife in all honesty. I love that place. David C, how much better do you feel now that you're shredded? I'm not shredded anymore. I'm, I'm of a healthy weight. I have an athletic physique now, uh, but I'm not shredded. Like I said, I got very, very close to shredded, but I've put on about 10 pounds since then, um, which is pretty damn crazy. But I had, I had, I had weight to potentially gain. You know, I was at quite a low body fat percentage, not ripped or anything. But it's quite difficult to maintain that without access to a gym and really any <laughs> any desire to keep to a strict diet. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, there's number three. And it's a dissolver. Let's go. Let's go. Three black markets. That's unreal. We've opened 100 crates and we've got three black markets. I'm, I'm kind of... The, the questions are distracting me from the fact that this crate opening has been pretty ridiculous. We had 163 crates. We've opened there for 103. Three black markets and 100 crates. That's unreal. you love to see it. Um, let's see. Been a fan since 30k subs, bro. I remember your live streams. Really miss it all. Well, if you could, if you hopped on Twitch, you would see them. They're not trading live streams, but, you know, they're, they're gaming live streams, all that good stuff. Someone says, can you help me get better at trading? Honestly, no. I'm not the greatest at trading. If you guys know, you, you know that I, I wanted to try and get back into some sort of nothing. That's the third non-painted Striker Exotic I've got this video. You guys notice that? I think Santa Fe's, Hikari P5s, and now Hypnotics, all non-painted striker. What's that about? Um, I've tried to make trading videos. I just think it's just not as enjoyable to me. It is it is hard work. It is, and it just... I don't know. I don't get... I'm not overly keen to do it. But that's pretty much all the questions for the most part. I know I probably missed a few. I know I definitely missed a few. But I answered quite a lot. And I've been answering questions for well over 20 minutes now, I think. So that is that's a lot of fun. And now, we're just getting to the stage where normally I'd make it into best items only of a 100 crate opening anyway. So we're going to open all the way down to 50 crates remaining. And then I'll show you the best of the best items. I guess painted imports, painted exotics, black markets, and maybe anything else cool that happens, I think. So that way, uh, not this crate, but after the next crate, the crate you will see after that will be uh, a highlight, something sick. So this could potentially be the last bad crate of the video. However, it could be sick. Yo! Cobalt equalizes. There we go. So now, the next crate you see again is going to be a highlight like this one. Something sick. We've had three black markets. Can we get four? That would actually be scenes. Let's do it. Import. Orange heroes. Ah, okay. It's kind of dried up the luck, to be honest. You can take my breath away. Ooh, come on. Damn it, man. Am I in too deep? Have I lost my mind? I don't care you're here tonight. <laughs> oh, dear. Where's the luck? And you got me, got me questioning. Where is the luck? The luck. The luck. Where is the luck, the luck, the luck? <laughs> oh. It's going to be a boost. I've been sat here singing to myself and nothing is coming up. No lucky crates. Maybe the odd painted import here and there. But we're in the final 10 crates. And apparently, best items only means no items left in this video. So we are out here opening these last 10 crates. I've got a minute and a half left recording on the camera. So this is going to be a rip because I'm going to have to reset it because we're not going to be opening these not gonna be able to open these crates in time uh but yes it's been a really really fun video massive shout out to all you that do follow me on my social medias uh particularly instagram in today's case at pick a pixel yt there is an account on instagram called at pick a pixel who hasn't posted anything for years and uh hopefully i can maybe get that handle at some point in my life because it's, it's clearly me if it wasn't me originally, there's a there's a painted import. Then then it, it is me now. I've sort of claimed ownership of that name. I don't think I was the first person to come up with the pun pick a pixel, but I was the first person to come up with it and then sort of make it 
mine. I almost kind of, uh, yeah, <laughs> just sort of made it mine, even if it wasn't uh, a rigid. I, I did come up with it in my head, but I think the name already existed on the internet. Like pretty much everything. But maybe we, we've got 20 seconds left of this camera, so we're going to end this video now. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. Ivan Pixel, you have been awesome, and I will see you in the next video very soon. Done.